Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf. We are here in Eth Ring during the Dawnless Day, and I've already spoken to one person who's asked me to kill some orcs, but I'm pretty sure there are a few other people who wish my attention. Hello there. Hello there. There's not but ill omens these days. Yes, I also want you to kill orcs. Okay, I might as well kill orc two orcs with one spear. And then what else have we got? There's naught but ill omens these days. If you have a moment to spare, I must ask you for your help in these dark times. Three days ago, a man from the north came through this town with an army of warriors and ghosts. If you don't believe me, I understand, but I assure you that I speak the truth. Okay, yes, I think I believe you in this. Yes, I believe... Yes, his name is Aragorn. Oh, yes, I believe someone said that was his name. I did not know this man, but many in town did, or were persuaded by his words, and joined him on his eastern march. He took many, and the rest stayed in front of their houses out of fear. Hmm. After this frightful army of men and dead left the vale, the sky grew dark and rumors spread of trolls lurking in the woods. Three days have passed, and many still say they've seen the dead wandering through the trees. Uh, Borhador, the lord of the Vale, rests in his hall. Much has been left his realm in these recent days, including his hope. Perhaps an outsider such as yourself, spending some time in the Vale, will with Borhadir will give. Um, Bore had their strength and lead his people again. All right. Well, we'll see. Cause I'm having trouble with your accent. Sorry. And let's see. This darkness is a weight on my mind. Good adventure. What brings you to Ringlow in this dreadful day? Mm, Lothriel sent me here. Ah, this is true. I saw the smoke rise out of. Dor and Endor on the top of the beacon, um, Elendoth. Though war has not yet reached our doorstep, Ethring it will benefit greatly from your help. As you can see, there are very few town folk around. Many have gone to war, and the remaining keep indoors out of fear, for the sun has not risen. There are orcs in the woods who came down from the White Mountains as the sky grew dark. They have burned our lumber camps, and many attacked Ethring at the moment. The Lord of the Vale's son, Arvathor, has taken to the woods in hopes of driving back the orcish forces. Arvathor is a fine warrior and would be needed should the conflict in Dor and Anil reach us. Will you find and aid him for Ethring? All right, fine. I will look for him. Lots of quests. And what do you need? Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. Greetings, traveler. I have need of your assistance if you can spare the time. We have not received many travelers these last few days since the army marched through. They took many of our best men. Those who remain hide in fear of the darkened skies and the ghost stories of blue lights in the woods at night. With this, I am doing what I can to provide Ethring with the defenses and supplies it needs to remain sh but remain short-handed. If you're able, I could use your assistance in catching fish. Bye. <sighs> Let's get it over with. Fish. Fish. I don't know. Where did I put in my resume? I am... Uh, well, okay, okay. I, I guess I have a reasonable fishing skill. So I guess I shouldn't complain too much on that. But... Let's see what we have here. But I'm sure that if you told the average Shire Hobbit that... Their ancestors... were river folk who enjoyed boating and fishing and things like that. They would probably look at you completely incredulously. There you go. Now, let's see what we've got up here. Um, 
This doesn't look good. Not good at all. Hmm, what happened to him? Very recently, but no idea why he died. I brought back the fish, but I found somebody dead up near the nets. Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. A body has washed up on the riverbank? This is disturbing news, as Ethring has not seen an unnatural death in many years. Hmm. I see. Perhaps one of the few villagers who have been walking out these last few days knows something about this man's death. All right, I'll see if I can find anything. Who says? Strange armies. Now darkened skies. Unfortunately, I have more pressing matters to attend than learning about the death of one of my people. These are difficult times. Many of the town folk are gathered in our tavern. Perhaps speaking to them will clear up this mystery. I wish you luck, and dearly hope that this man was not slain by someone in this town. Well, I will... Find... I will find out something. Hello there. I saw a body washed up on shore, and I was wondering if you've noticed anything unusual. This darkness is a weight on my mind. Hmm. I am a little confused. You think I know something? Look, I come here every evening for a pint. That's all I know. You just speak with the barkeep. He's a good man. Keeps me from getting too thirsty, you see. He knows the whole lot of the town. Everyone who comes through Ethring stops here. I wish I could help you, really. All right, well, I guess the barkeep would be a more likely person to ask. Hello there. I was wondering if you know anything about a body that's washed up ashore? What news do you bring, Traveler? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, perhaps some Ethring ale? Hmm. Well, this is a sad day. Business has been a little slower recently, with most of the town off to war, and no merchants have come through these days. I can't afford to lose many more patrons. You say he washed up on the river. Uh, you know, I haven't seen many travelers as of late, but there's one here right now. He's an odd fellow. Not a Gondorian. Not at all. Maybe you should speak with him. He's just come into town from Lamadon and may have seen things on his travels. Best of luck, my friend. All right, let me, let me look this. See, anyone here who's not a god door yet? Mm. Hello there, Jajax. What is this world coming to? Ah, if it isn't my friend Pineleaf. This is an unexpected surprise to see you again. After our last adventure together, I needed a bit of a break. Uh, did you as well? Some kind of fellow in Calumdell told me about the sleepy town of Ethring. The cities of Gondor are too big, this is truth. Hmm, I like the woods and the quiet. But everything about me... What have you been up to? Let us drink together and share our adventure. Well, why is it that talking to Jax always leads to drinking? <sighs> well, I hope only one is enough for that. All right, now, where were we? This is intolerable. Ah, oh, hmm. This does not sound like something that I am interested in, friend. Uh, please, do not bother me with these things. Talk about something more interesting, such as sailing ships or climbing mountains. Hmm. Sailing ships or climbing mountains. Well... Are you sure? Stay. And hear me out. 
Yes, my good adventuring friend, I am much too busy enjoying this tavern right now to adventure with you, but might you have some time to listen to my request? Some men that were under Hebel's command have captured the beacon between Lamadon and this fine wooded vale. I am sure they're up to up there right now thinking they are the best corsairs in all of Gondor, but you and I know that they're just idiots. Look, my friend, go up there and rough them up for me, will you? Oh, wipe the smiles off their faces. Take back the beacon if you want as well. I do not understand Gondorians, but you seem to like them. Well, back to my pint. Uh, roughed up Corsairs. <sighs> it appears that nobody wants to talk about it. What has become of our lords in the east, I wonder? Hmm, I see. You say that your friend of yours is in the tavern and has not answered your questions? That seems a bit odd. Might you try reasoning with him to answer you? If he doesn't, I may need to have him seized until we solve this death. Alright, I will speak with him again. Hello again. Are you sure you don't have anything to add about this? What is this world coming to? Have another drink with me? <sighs> it's an idle threat, but I don't want to cause trouble in this town, for I like this place. Hmm. I do not want to get involved in this, but I will tell you what I know and no more. After the skies grew dark, I made my way to Ethring. The woods were made of blackness from the starless sky. Only torchlight guided my way. As I approached Ethring, I saw a man in the woods. He was white as a ghost and not even moving. Hmm, yeah? I do not ask much of you. The man I saw and the man you found may be the same. I urge you to take a closer look at the body. But don't get me involved in, more involved in it than I already am, for I'm not yet ready to travel further east. All right, I will take another look at the body. All right. Hmm. The body does look a bit on the pale side. Hold on, what's going on here? Oh! What? Oh... Uh. The cursed dead. Ruthless dead, that's it. That's ruthless, that's the word. Well, it appears that the ruthless dead are doing nasty stuff. Very nasty stuff. Hmm. Well, they certainly could be responsible for this. Likely are. It appears that it's all worse than I thought. What has become of our lords in the east, I wonder? The dead were spying from the body of the poor Gondorian? And to think that he died of fright. Hmm. Even in death, what possesses some to do what they do? I have no pity for these spirits, and shall do what I can to vanquish them from the veil. Ooh, she does have strong words. It appears that he died from fright from seeing the floating dead. Tell me what you need or move along. Oh yes, I did know about those ghostly men. Uh, not much bothers Jajax, but the dead I find quite disturbing. That's why I didn't want to get involved. I'm glad that you sent them away. Now I can stay here longer and have some more of this fine ethering ale. Have another drink, my friend? Oh, well. Bottoms up. There you go. Well, at least it is good ale. Why are you bothering me? I hope that we cross paths again soon. You're going east as well, right? Uh, until next time, Pine Leaf. May your adventures be profitable. I hope so. Maybe we can get rid of the course. Well, most of the Corsairs while we're at it. Let's see if the Lord has anything for us.
Hello there, sir. We woke this morning to no sun, no light of day. Yes, I've heard about that. I have nothing to say to you, stranger. Leave me, for my days are numbered. Oh boy, he's a real chipper one. We woke this morning to no sun, no light of day. You're still here? I do not seek your counsel, Hobbit. Look upon my weary face. Do you see a leader perched over his this veil, or a tired or a tired man? They say. They call me Borhador the Old, my own people. My time to step down from lordship was taken from me when my eldest son, Dervion, answered the call to the beacons. Now I dwell in limbo, waiting for my son's return, or death from the monsters lurking in the shadows. Does hope even exist? Now be gone from my sight! Oh boy! He's a real optimistic one. I think we should go and speak with Arvathor and see if he has anything useful. Maybe this egg could be a sign of hope that we could show the father, though. The chickens are still productive, laying eggs for the village. Hmm, what's this? Ah, some flowers! Maybe some of these could help. The mountain flowers blossom, even without the sun. Ah, here's a Gondorian man. Maybe this is Arvathor. Hello there! There's not but ill omens these days. Hello, Traveler! What brings you this way? Hmm, I see. You bring word from Condor. Then surely you've heard of Ethering's troubles? Yep, I have. I could use the company as I patrol these woods. The shadows play tricks even on the mind in this bleak hour. Hmm. There's not but ill omens these days. Let us take back the veil and push these orcs onto the into the mountains from whence they came. No longer will they pillage our trees and defile our waters. Alright, I guess we can push them back. What exactly do we need to do? This darkness is a weight on my mind. Just come to your side when you wish to depart. Right. Hmm. I guess we can start that now. How may I help you, friend? Those who live in Ethering make their way from the tr from the trees in our vale. This mother of ships helped build a great naval fleet for the Gondor many years back. Recently, our lumber camps have been pillaged and burnt. If we don't make this wood safe again, I fear few townsfolk will left will not have the money to acquire provisions from passing merchants. There is one lumber camp not too far from here. I was on my way to investigate it before we met. I fear I am too late, but let us hope for survivors. Right, I guess we could do that. So we need to head out this way and find out what's going on and while we do this, actually, let's remove that for now. I am expecting quest rings to pop up here and there as I do this. That's a buck. That's a bear. Some suitable timber. Now that's for the epic story, I believe. And that's an orc. Well, we have to take care... Well, this doesn't bode too well for the people of this place if there are orcs all over it. Right. Oh, and I'm sure this is a new deed. Orc Slayer of Central Gondor. Oh, fun any fun fun. Well, we might as well get some tinder here. And kill some orcs. 
We're going to be all over the place. Sledge. Collected... The... Oh, oh, salvage tools. Okay, I was wondering. What? Alright, he wants us to... Salvage some tools for here. Ah, Veil of Shadow has... Defeat orcs in the lumber camp. One of five. Salvage tools in the lumber camp. Well, three of... Who's that? Oh, the, oh, the epics! I, I think I'm getting confused as to which quest is what. Alright, I have all the tinder. Alright, that's good. Now I can collect the tools. Three of eight for the tools. Okay, Veil of Shadow. Ah, uh, when you have all these overlapping quests, sometimes it's hard to keep up which one is which. There you go. And... Finally, this. Good. Oh, another one up there. Well, we've got this orc to deal with. How about that? I only got one of... Wait, this place is riddled with orcs! Well, alright. I should be able to take care of two of these at once, right? Well, especially since I've got him with me. I mean... It'd be rather poor if I'm not able to take care of two of them at once. Besides, I'm a warden, right? Now, where were we? I am supposed to... Oh! I was wondering... Where's the orc? Right down there. Oh, he must have seen the... The Gondorian. Alright, I guess that makes sense. Now, what is this? Actually, let me take care of one more tool. Maybe you can find out what's going on there. Uh, hello? This man beckons you to come closer and whispers words in your ear. I tried to stop them, <coughs> but there were too many. They came from across the river, <coughs> and leading them was a... Leading them was a... A what? A troll? A dead man? A... An Uruk? A Nazgul? Gondor needs your aid. What did the man say? So, there's an orc camp across the river. This is more serious than I thought. Once, centuries ago, the orcs of the White Mountains were a plague upon the Vale. The people of the Vale were victorious after much bloodshed and drove them back into the mountains. I myself thought the orcs were destroyed until I saw one with my own eyes just two days ago. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many these now. These are troublesome times indeed. I wonder how long these orcs have been waiting in the mountains so that they may once again prey upon the hard-working folk of the Vale. Come, let us return to Ethering. The news of the orc camp is worrying. We must help strengthen Ethering's defenses before returning to the orcish threat in the woods. Alright, well... Alright, so I'll have to go back to the camp there. What else do I need to do here before I do that? Obviously I'm not going to get further. Actually Oh yes. That is part of the quest line that I have here. See I need to kill a few more orcs. But I suspect I'll be killing several more of those as I go through this line. So I'll just... Well, I'll kill a few on my way out. And that'll be that. Actually, collecting the bounty might not be a bad idea, right? Hey, how'd you like me to count the bounty of... Well, like I said, I'll always turn in the bounty later. <sighs> well, at least that takes care of the... Epic story bit, right? That's something. Some of what I need to do. 
not everything, but some. There you go. Now, let's get back out of here. Let's get back to Ethring. And that's where you're going to find me in the next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.